Welcome everyone to Living with the Times. Tonight and tomorrow is Pesach Sheni, the second Pesach. In the Torah portion of Bahalotcha, in the book of Bamidbar, the book of Numbers, the, an incident is explained from which we get this holiday called Pesach Sheni. And it takes place in the desert. And the year after we came out of Egypt, we celebrated Pesach. And what happened was all of Israel celebrated Pesach. But there were a number of people, because they were involved with burying someone, which is a big mitzvah, they became Tamei. And uh, impure, ritually impure. And they did, and it happened right before Pesach, so they didn't have time to go through the ritual of purifying oneself after being in, in close contact with death. And so they came to Moshe and they said, how can it be that we didn't have a chance to bring the Pesach offering. Because we were doing a mitzvah, there has to be some solution for us because we really want to bring the Pesach offering like everyone else. We want to thank Hashem for taking us out of Egypt. Moshe actually did not know the answer. He didn't know what to do. So the, the, the Torah portion describes that he turns to God and asks him, what is a solution for these people. And God said, there is a solution. Anyone who is impure or too far away from the, in this case it was the Mishkan or the temple in the future, ha has a second chance. We brought the Paschal offering, Korban Pesach, on the 14th day of Nisan. And of course, the 15th, the next day, is Pesach, Seder night. So God said, uh, for anyone who's too far away or impure, you have a second chance to bring it on the 14th of the month of Iyar, uh, uh, exactly a month later. And they could bring the Korban Pesach and eat it with matzah and moror. And they had a second chance. So Pesach Sheni became known as the holiday of second chances. And of course, uh, spiritually, psychologically, emotionally, this is such an important idea that we all have another chance. No matter how far away we are, as God said, or how impure we might have come from some thought, speech, or action that, that we did. But no one is too far away that they don't have another chance. We learned something else from this. The idea that these people could have very simply said, okay, next year I'll bring the carbon Pesach. But they had a longing to do this mitzvah. They had a passion to acknowledge and thank God for taking us out of Egypt. And in response, God, as it were, uh, revealed this second chance. And so that's also a deep teaching for us that our longing to do the mitzvot will elicit a reaction from above. It will be noticed how much we want to do the mitzvot. Now I want to introduce another idea that's very, very relevant. And that is, it's a teaching from Rav Yitzhak Ginsburg. And he points out that in modern times, there are two dates that are the most important. And that is the 5th of Iyar and the 28th of Iyar. Iyar is the month we are in right now. And he explains the fifth of Iyar. This is the day that the 
state of Israel was declared in 1948. And the 28th of Iyar, uh, 19, uh, 19 years later, 1967, when during the Six-Day War, Jerusalem was reunited after 2,000 years. That was on the 28th of Iyar. And so Rav Ginsburg points out that there must be some divine providence that both of these important uh, life-changing events in Jewish history both occur in the month of Iyar. So he points out that between these two dates is Pesach Sheni that we've been discussing. And so Rav Ginsburg makes just a simple statement, but it's so important, it's so relevant. He said, what we can understand from this is that we are living in the context of God giving us another chance for Eretz Yisrael. Here we are back in the land after 2,000 years. We have sovereignty, Jerusalem, has been rebuilt, the cities of Israel have been rebuilt, the Jews from the four corners of the earth have been gathered, the land has turned green, Israel is the startup nation, it is the technological powerhouse in the world right now, and all of this is, we're being given another chance. And in a certain way, in a more, call it, minor way, that on October 7th, the horrendous events of Simcha Torah and the war that we're still involved with uh, seven months later is also giving us another chance because everyone knows before October 7th, there was tremendous dissension in Israel. No one had seen anything like this. People were at each other's throats. The, 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 the political language was so harsh and threats were flying all over the place. And then October 7th came and it like snapped us back to reality of how dangerous it is to have so much dissension and not learn how to disagree without uh, all kinds of threats and, and, and terrible accusations. And so in the smaller context, but in the bigger context of the last 2,000 years, we are being given another chance to settle Eretz Yisrael to bring all the Jews back to the homeland and to Bezrat Hashem draw the Messianic era into reality. And so tonight and tomorrow, Pesach Sheni, make sure you eat some matzah, but also to contemplate the bigger picture of what's happening and how we have to take advantage of this and make it work this time. And Bezrat Hashem, we most certainly will.